Hey guys, welcome back to day two of the World's Strongest Man Final 2024. We have in the lead at the minute, Tom Stoltman on 26 and a half points, Mitchell Hooper on 23 and a half, three points behind. We've got Evan Singleton in third on 23. Uh, fourth place is gonna be Austin Andrade on 18.5. So, our top three at the minute is Mitch, Tom and Evan. We've got the Conan's wheel up next so this is a test of willpower determination and basically who can go through the most pain until they black out got to pick up a 250 kilo conan's wheel and walk around in circles as far as they can every step they take is crushing the lungs crushing the air out the lungs more and more and more getting heavier and heavier so uh this is going to be a real tough task for these guys i've never seen mitchell hooper do a conan's wheel so but i can't see him being bad at Conan's wheel. Uh, we've seen Tom do a Conan's wheel. He has been very bad in the past. I think he got last in his heats last year. Um, Evan Singleton, I imagine he's going to be up there just because he's got that sheer willpower of just give it its all till, till he blacks out. So those three are going to be quite, those two at least are going to be very good on this. Um, my dark horse for this is going to be Pablo Cordiaca. I think he's got the world record in this at some point or maybe still has. I think he will win it, even though being the lightest guy in the contest. Tom has bought a Conan's wheel and has been training with it religiously for quite some time now. And if I know Tom, he will turn things around. He will make his weaknesses his strengths. So I'm not going to count Tom out. Tom is going to do damage on this. I'm going to go for Pablo first, Mitch second, probably Evan third, and then Tom is going to be right up there. Tom could even snatch a third place spot on this. So... Uh, I'm going to try and catch a little bit of interview with the guys, just see how they're feeling. I've got my me, uh, me Facebook Meta glasses on today, so uh, I might grab, grab a couple of interviews with these bad boys and see how they work. See you in a minute. Here we are, Pablo Kordiak. How are you doing, buddy? I'm good, just uh, resting for the event. Yeah, are you ready for the Conan's Wheel? Are you going to smash a world record? Uh, you know, you'll see. I just want to pick up and run as quick as I can. Do you think you're going to win? I guess I, I'm able to do it. You are. Just tell me, you're going to win or not. Come on, come on, come on. Put yourself on the spot. I'll do my best. <laughs> you're going to win. <laughs> All right, good man, Pablo. Good man. Right, Conan's wheel is done. So, as expected, Pablo Kordiaka won that event with 922 degrees, a full 100 degrees more than any other athlete. Mitchell Hooper was second with 821 degrees and fair play to Tom Stoltman here. He got third with 777. 20 degrees behind him is Matthew Rag. Wesley Dwinski was in fifth on 681. Tristan Hoff, 643. Evan Singleton, down in seventh on 598. So that's a bit of a disappointment for Evan. I thought it would have been better, but um, can't be good at everything, eh? Uh, Luke Stoltman in eighth, 527 degrees. Austin Andrade in 526. And then Ivar Schmuckstelis, 486. So the points overall after the, I'm going to say, fourth event of the World's Strongest Man final, we're on day two. Tom Stoltman is still in the lead with 34 and a half points. Mitchell Hooper is second at 32 and a half. And then four and a half points behind is Evan Singleton still on 27. And five points behind him is Wesley Dowinski on 22. So, Stoltman still in the lead by two points. Evan is four and a half points behind Mitchell as well. So, I mean, you've got to think of the events coming up, the deadlift... I mean, in my opinion, no one is beating Mitchell on deadlift, so Mitch Hooper should win the deadlift. Is anyone going to beat Tom? Matthew Rag could, and Evan Singleton could. I think those are the only two that could put some points in between Tom and Mitch Hooper at the minute. So let's say Mitch wins this next event. Two people get in between Tom and Mitch. That would mean Tom's going to lose. Oh, let's think about this. So 10, 9, 8, 7. So Tom would get 7 points. Mitch would get 10. Which means after this event, Mitchell Hooper will be, in my opinion, one point in the lead going into the Atlas Stones. 
So whoever wins the Atlas Stones, in my opinion, is going to be the world's strongest man. And going off history, I don't think I've ever seen Tom lose an Atlas Stone run yet. So, uh, right. Next event is deadlift full reps. We will get straight stuck into that. And uh, I'll be back to with you in two seconds. Right, Mitch Hooper. 60 seconds of madness here. Conan's wheel just down, as expected. Exactly, as expected. Other yeah. than Tom doing much better than I expected. Yeah, no, I quite agree. Deadlift is up next. I think, I mean, let's just be honest, you're gonna win the deadlift, I think. So it's just a matter of who's gonna get in between you and Tom going into the final. How do you see it playing out? Well, to have it mean anything, I'm gonna need two points or more ahead of Tom going into stones. Yes. The likelihood of that is small. Mm -hmm. uh, so if I see a situation where I can pull one point closer and not have to push to my limit, then that's what I'm gonna do. My goal is to be one point behind tied or one point ahead I think that's a reasonable expectation. So gauging what you just said, you're going to be pretty much tied or one point behind Tom going into the stones. So your mindset has got to be win the Atlas Stones to win the World's Strongest Man. That's the goal. That's the goal. And you were only two seconds behind him last year. I'm closer than people would think. He I, is better, but I'm closer than people I, think. I, I believe so, yes. So, right. I'm going to say any more. Give you a fist bump because your hand's a mess. Thank you. Best of luck, man. Cheers, Thanks, Thank buddy. You. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Right, deadlift down. Before I chat to you about the results, I'm just going to go chat to Mitchell Hooper because he really struggled with his grip in that event. I'm going to walk into the athlete tent now. Right, we have Mitchell Hooper in the tent now. Just show me your hands, buddy, because that... Oh, my God. You can see tendon in that one, like a bit of fat under the skin. Jeez. I felt sorry for you, mate, because I saw you do the, the six, and it was just like in your fingertips. I could tell your grip strength just went... Yeah. I honestly had you down for doing eight to ten reps in that, which would have won the event. Yeah. Talk me through the turmoil in that in literally 30 seconds or less. Yeah, I, I could have I could have done ten if things were perfect, but things don't go perfect in a strongman show, and stupid things like your hands holding together is part of the show. And if you can't hold your hands together, you do deserve to lose. So I could have, on a different day, I believe that I am one of the strongest men on the planet, and I think I'm proving that despite my hands being all fucked up. Okay, I mean, that's obviously put you in a four and a half point deficit going into the Atlas Stones towards Tom. I think it's very optimistic. <laughs> um, you claiming back that first place spot, it's not not optimistic to say you could possibly beat Tom in the Stones. Um, but considering what's just happened, what, like, you know what's to come. What's this going to do to you mentally after this show? Uh, absolutely nothing. I think I've done so well over the past while and it's easy to show people who you are when you're doing well and you can be happy and jovial and whatever. Mm. I'm excited to show people that I can lose the title and be just as happy and yeah. be proud of Tom and continue working to get the title back. It's going to do nothing to me mentally. I've got seven more shows this year. And I can guarantee I'm going to win at least a couple of them. Uh, we'll get healed up and, and just kick off. You're right. I didn't, sorry, I didn't mean like mentally as in like you're going to mentally down. I mean, is this going to light a fire in you uh, to go and like come back next year and, and smash it? My motivation comes internally. Uh, I'm as motivated now as I'll be tomorrow. I'm 100% on or 100% off. So as long as you see me on a competition floor, I believe that I can win and I believe that I should win. Well, I believe in you, mate. You've proved it time and time again. And uh, I just want to say good luck in the stones. And I just feel sorry for what's happened with your hands, but that is strong, man. This shit goes down. And you, uh, I'm going to say you live and learn. I'm sure there's some things that you'll take away from this that will make changes in competitions going forward, whether that be improving your grip or we don't know you know that's for you yeah. to i mean the reality is if your grip is perfect it won't slide in your hands at all yeah thing is not a, a risk so maybe some work on that but um second place at world's strongest man i'm not gonna look down upon that very proud of you man good job thank you right and with luke stoltman tom is just so zoned in at the minute and people are pulling at him and i don't want to disrupt his mind plan of what he's got going on you know don't want to take him off his path so i thought i'd come and grab you not that you've got shit to do but um I just thought I'd best leave Tom alone. Yeah. That performance then, that's just solidified for me. That's solidified his win for 2024 World's Strongest Man. I honestly thought, I mean, I knew he was going to work hard on the Conan's, but I thought he was going to do a lot worse on the Conan's wheel. Like, just amazing performance. So you've been doing a little bit of training. I know you've separated a little bit somewhat, mm -hmm. but you've seen his training. I'm sure you know what he's been doing. Tell me what, like, what this means to Tom and that Conan's performance as well. It's unbelievable, you know, the, we bought a Conan's wheel just for 
um, for training specifically for World Strongest Man. So Tom has been hitting it really hard every week. I've been training events with him still. And I knew coming into this, he put in a good performance. Um, and it's just, just telling Tom, you know, it's like, you've got to work hard. Like, that's all it is. Like, you see Mitchell Hooper absolutely smashing it, working to the hundredth percent of his capabilities. Tom does that now, and no one can touch him, I don't think. Um, and that just proven, you know, he's he's the con most consistent guy in the field today, I think. Um, and the last couple of performances pro prove that. And he's got a few point lead going into the Stones, which it's never good for the rest of us when Tom's got points in front going into the Stones. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really proud. And just seeing Tom kind of be that mature man, that mature athlete, and be really composed and just hold himself so well throughout this competition because you know how it is it's so stressful it's so like Tom gets overstimulated quite a lot of the time but he's controlled that he's done his he's been working with a sports psychologist really controlling his breath his breathing his visualization manifesting he's doing all that and it's working a treat and it's just absolutely amazing that's it that's the observation I've been making and that's why I don't want to go in and start pestering him taking off his his frame of mind everything he's doing now is just so much more zoned in like you, you see him just prepping in the in the athlete area and he's just head down he isn't making eye contact with anyone he's just in his own little world and i know tom has the has the autism that obviously makes things a lot harder for him and expressing himself he looks a bit miserable at times but he is just that anchored in he's here to win the world's strongest man and that's all he cares about i'm sure we'll be back down to normality straight after but um yeah Three times world's strongest man, ba your little baby brother, <laughs> your tiny little baby <laughs> brother. <laughs> How's that feel, man? Does that make you proud as hell or what? I mean, I don't want to count our chickens before they're hatched, but I mean, if, some, if, if he gets that third title, I think that's exceptional. You know, there's not many guys out there, and we were just chatting before, you know, if Tom wants to go and win it six times, I truly believe now that he's got it back, or he will have it back, He's not going to let it go now and he's going to just be that 100 percent focus now that we've seen out here that we've seen at britain's strongest man every competition he does now um i i've said it before and i really think that tom is the most exceptional athlete of of, of kind of i think one of our generations that's no disrespect to yourself or any other guys but i think just the way that tom is with his autism his his way of focusing so well once he's controlled that which he has this time that the rest of us are just here for second place He's almost used that autism as like a superpower, hasn't he? He's like, autistic people tend to get very zoned in on, on subjects and excel at like, you know, always get super superior mathematicians and superior people that have like superior memory. And Tom's superpower is just zoning in and training and lifting weights probably five times, 10 times what the normal person would even consider. Um, six times World's Strongest Man, that's got a great ring to it, hasn't it? Magnus has got the, uh, sorry, Marius yeah. podnoski has got the five. Six times World's Strongest Man. Do you think that's something he really wants to do? I, I truly think it is. You know, Tom's, it's it's about more than the prize money. It's about more than the fame. It's about cementing Tom's legacy in this sport. And he's he's set out, he's doing this. He's putting his body through so much, you know, taking years off his life to be the greatest ever strong man. And, you know, that's uh, the kind of, the promise I think that he made to my mum, our mum, before she passed away. And, and I truly think that he can do that. Um, and I, I'm here for the journey. I'm here for the ride. Amazing. It's an inspiration to not only people like me and yourself, but people like my son. You know, my son's got disabilities and uh, I always talk to him about Tom and how, you know, it's, it's incredible what he's done. It really is. But uh, thank you for that interview, Luke. Okay, we really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you, mate. Thank Cheers. you. Thank you. Right. As you've just seen, just chat on, chatting to Mitch Hooper there, I felt really sorry for him because that event is in the bag for Mitch. He definitely, he's capable of nine plus reps on that event. And uh, I'm afraid... As you see on the screen now, just those last reps, just like the bar was just in his fingertips. He just can't, just can't grip. I've been there. When your hands are in that state, you just, it doesn't matter. Pain doesn't, doesn't matter. It's literally the blood lubricates your fingers and it slips out your hand. I mean, literally, I can't describe how bad his hands are. Um, check my stories right now on my Instagram to have a look at his hands properly. They are pretty beat up. So, um... Not a good result for Mitchell, but I'll tell you who won that event. So Matthew Rag won the event with eight reps. Tristan Hoof tied with Tom Stoltman on seven reps. So this is fantastic news for Tom. Uh, it's putting him right back in contention. I think it puts, it puts him four and a half points in the lead above Mitchell Hooper. So, I mean, come on, out the Stones last event. Who's going to win that? I wonder. 
Um, so I felt well done to Tom. Uh, he must be so proud of himself. He's worked so hard to get his Conan's wheel up and his deadlift as well. You know, if you'd have done him, if you'd have done this deadlift this time last year, he'd have struggled to get six, and he did seven reasonably comfortably. So well, well, well done to Tom. Joint second on seven reps along with Tristan Hove. So joint fourth. So there's three people with six reps, and that was Austin Andrade. Well done, Mexican Eddie Hall. You're doing brilliant, man. You should be really proud of yourself. You're a future contender for the world's strongest man. I can feel it. And they've got Wesley Dewinsky did six. Mitchell Hooper only did six, obviously because of his hands. Um, and then Evan Singleton only did five. Nearly got that sixth. Feel for Evan. I feel, I feel like he, he didn't quite give his best performance there. Uh, Luke Stoltman did four again. Just couldn't quite get that last rep up. But fair play to Luke. He's giving it his all. Avar Schmuckstelis did three. Pablo Kordiaka did one, as expected, really. Pablo's not a great deadlifter at all. So the points overall at the minute... It's Tom Stoltman in the lead on 43, four and a half points behind is Mitch Hooper on 38.5, and then a seven and a half point behind him is Evan Singleton on 31. Fourth is Matthew Rag on 29 and a half, and Wesley Dewinsky is in fifth on 28. So, I mean, it's fair to say I think uh, I think Tom Stoltman has won World's Strongest Man 2024, but it's not over till the fat lady sings, as they say. Uh, Atlas Stones are still to go. Mitch Hooper is pretty much cemented. He's only got to get one point and he's cemented his second place. And uh, just speaking to him there, I think he's, you know, he's happy with that. You know, he's made mistakes. Whether those mistakes be the prep for this, not quite getting his grip up to standard, and that's why he shredded his hands. Um, and at the end of the day, that is strong, man. You know, you've got to, you've got to give it your all in, in training. You've got to make your weaknesses, your strengths. And grip is obviously one of Mitch's weaknesses in this instant so I'm sure he's going to go away work on that very very hard and come back next year and that won't be a weakness so Evan Singleton in third um, who was behind him and then Matthew Rag only one and a half points behind with Wesley Dewinsky only one and a half points behind him so Evan's got a tough fight for that keep that third place which would be amazing for Evan you know third place at World's Strongest Man it's just proving that he deserves to be where he is in my opinion Evan will win the world's strongest man one day. I, I can guarantee it. I would put money on it. I don't know how much, but I would put money on it. So, uh, right, Atlas Stones next, guys. This is the this is it. World's strongest man 2024. We're going to find out who's going to win. So uh, we'll get through this, and we'll try and grab an interview with uh, the winner, Tom Stoltman, in a little bit. See you in a minute. Right, I'm with the champ, the winner, the dominator, the new dominator, Mr. Tom Stoltman. Mate, I just want to say well done. Three times now, World's Strongest Man. Back to retain your title from last year. How do you feel, buddy? Yeah, I mean, it's special, you know. Um, 29 years old and won three World's Strongest Man titles is pretty pretty crazy. But, uh, yeah, I'm happy it's not sunk in yet. I was dominant. I was hardworking. I didn't uh, make any mistakes, and I think that was a kind of difference this weekend. So. Mate, the events you had in the finals were not your events by any mean shape or form they just weren't and you still come through and you've you prevailed what's your frame of mind coming into next year we're straight back to training we're training for next year how many titles do you want yeah i, mean, I want them all i mean i think the biggest change for me is the sports psychology i took on i mean i've never ever experienced a mindset like this in my life you know and it's just it's just unbelievable and uh, when you have a strong mindset you can do anything and uh, i think that's what it was as soon as i got off to play in america i knew that was going to be the best in the world so a lot of the times I've, you've come off events, I'm like, shall I go tech, get, get Tom for an interview? And you're just so laser focused, mate. I don't want to interrupt you. You've like, you've just been so dominant in your own mind of what you needed to do for this show. And you've showed no emotion at all until then. So it's just, just, just so from me to you, mate, I just want to say like, you're a hero, not just to myself, to like people around the world with your autism and everything. You're very open about it. And it's great. My son, you, my son looks up to you. So I just want to say, well done, man. Thank You're a stand-up strong man and a, even more of a stand-up human being. Thank you very much, Eddie. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well done, man. Thank you. Just got grabbed Tom there for an interview. I haven't bugged him much this show because I just see what laser focused he is. 
Uh, just w well done to Tom, man. He's exceeded all expectations. Those were not good events for him in the vinyl, and he still won it by five and a half points, which is absolutely phenomenal. So Tom Saltman wins the World's Strongest Man 2024 with 53 points. Mitchell Hooper second on 47 and a half. 11 and a half points behind so that's like the gap is massive uh evan singleton is in third on 36 matthew rag is on fourth 35 and a half G uh justin ho 33 and a half in fifth sixth is wesley dewinsky on 31 seventh is austin andrade on 30.5 eighth pablo cordiaco 27 luke stallman ninth on 19 and a half and in 10th place, Avar Schmuck Stellis with 12 and a half points. So that wraps up the final, the world's strongest man. We have our winner. Absolutely amazing display of power there. Tom is only 29 years of age. He has got a, such a bright future ahead. In my opinion, if he wants to go on and win this six times and get the record over Marius Podnoxi, he can go and achieve that. There's no doubt in my mind. So uh, well, well done to Tom. And I uh, hope... Everyone's enjoyed this little behind the scenes, just getting these little bits of knowledge and obviously seeing Mitchell with his torn hands and everything, just stuff you wouldn't see from all the, all the, the social media otherwise. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you soon. Big love the beast. Take care.